Hello guys, it's your girl Pam with i86 there. Okay, um, I'm putting this particular um thing on this channel, my relationship channel, because it has something to do with relationships. But um, right now I'm just going to share a little bit about me in which a lot of people don't know. Uh, I am the type of person where I have many titles. Okay, um, It's a little hard when you first meet me to try to go through all of those titles because each title um, consists of something totally different. But at the same time, the reason why I have so many titles is because of the simple fact that I love to learn things that are new. And um, once I you know, do learn that particular thing and if I feel that I want to pursue it, then I'll go ahead and do it. Now, this is good for me in the future. And this is also good for me being able to um, relate to other people that, that has the same particular title or be able to... Um, you know relate to um people to be able to help me be able to build what it is that i'm trying to do my thing is um you can't have too many you know um titles or you can't have too many things that you feel that you're working on that or that you want to do um a lot of people you know try to be funny like what you jamaican or you know what you african or you i mean you don't have to that stereotype me you know calling me jamaican just because i have literally nine different titles you know but um and, and my race is really it, it shouldn't have anything to do with just because I have a lot of titles you know what race that you feel that I am you know what I'm saying even though a lot of people that have seen my videos they know that um you know my mom is half African and half Indian but um still that's considered black so it really don't even matter but um I am mixed with five different um things five different cultures but you know that's beside the point you know still when you look at me I'm black as tall so hey but um you know my thing is I've um, been to um, several upscale parties um, and when I say upscale I mean you have people there that are of a very very high rank um, you may have a few celebrities you know here and there but um, at the same time they're more of a private party and it's one of those type of things where they know that um, it's certain people that they trust in you know a person circle or if I know the host then they know the host wouldn't invite someone that, you know, would try to extort the whole entire party or, you know, take pictures, post this, post that. I don't even, when it comes to social media pages, like, at this given point in time right now, I mean, I only have my regular, you know, email accounts. And half the time, I don't even check those. You know what I'm saying? Um, my YouTube channel is the only thing of social media status that I even have. That's right now. You know, of course, I may get everything later on, but right now, I'm really not interested in all the other stuff because I can't even keep up with my regular, you know, email. But um, at the same time, like I said, um, just participating in these particular upscale parties, like I said, they're private parties and everyone don't want to be taken, you know, or have their picture taken or they don't want, you know, their business out there. They don't want to be known like that. But I have noticed that when, you know, participating in these particular upscale parties, uh, my thing is the first thing they want to know is, um, is not the fact of who are you, it's what do you do? In which who are you and what do you do are two different things and uh depends on what i tell you my title is is what intrigues you about me or what may not intrigue you about me and my thing is um i guess because they see me with so many titles or they see that i you know um do a lot or that i know a lot or th these may be the things that i do to make money or to get money or you know participate in they're looking at oh okay well you too smart I, you know, I don't want someone that's, you know, that does more than me or that's smarter than me or, you know, and may not even make more money than you, of course, no. But it's just the fact that, hey, you don't want someone that, that sort of above your head, I put it to you like that right there. And uh, I have been getting that, you know, not ashamed to say it, but I have really been getting turned out on all the people because I don't tell you all my titles. When I first meet you, I'm not going to tell you my titles. I, I only give you one, and that's cosmetologist because you can understand that oh okay you do hair no i'm a cosmetologist it's a difference yeah you yeah i do hair too but being a cosmetologist that's way more than just doing hair you um you're that's health that's hair that's beauty that's skin that's nails i mean these are all the things that i you know that i'm a, um an expert in why well, i mean i have my masters you know what i'm saying i mean i've been doing this well you can say i've been doing hair for the past 25 years, but at the same time, I mean, I've been a cosmetologist for, what, 17 years, you know, licensed. So, you know, my thing is I just say cosmetologist because it's easier. And, oh yeah, I'm able to explain that. But then at the same time, you want to throw the title out, oh, okay, so you do hell, and you think that that's it. No, and then you want to 
you know, you want to stereotype me and you want to put me in a particular section and say, oh, okay, so you girls this and you girls that and blah, 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 blah. I, okay, I'm nothing like who you explained, baby. Who you talking about? Because I would say that in a minute, baby. Who you talking about? Because it's not me. And so the thing about it is even when I'm making my way around the room, if you ask me, oh, okay, so what do you do? And they want to know what do you do for money? Because like I said, mind you, this is an upscale party. So they want to know what do you do for money? I'm a because, like I said, we really don't have to have time to talk for me to get to know you in order for me to be able to run down this whole list of everything that I do. And now, after I get through running down the whole list of everything that I do, now I have to explain it because, oh, okay, yeah, what's that? So now you want to know. So I can't, you know, take up my time in the room when I'm trying to make my way around the room and try to tell you, yeah, this is what I do. These are the different titles that I have, and this is what each title consists of. You know, and most people just have one, two titles. You know, I have more than that. But then that's very intimidating to a lot of guys. Why? I don't know. Some guys, it may be sexy, you know, to them. And if that's the case, <laughs> I need to know where they at. Because uh, the ones that I've been seeing and talking to and meeting, you know, it intimidates them. You know what I'm saying? So, oh, you um, guys out there that, that, that's sexy. Mm-hmm. My number is... I'm just playing now. Just kidding. For real. Just kidding. But, <laughs> but um, you know, but for real though, like... You look at the fact that, oh, okay, well, yeah, you are uh, Instagram model. Or, you you know, you may be looking at the fact that, oh, okay, yeah, you you own a, you know, a salon. Or you, you know, may look back over here at this person and say, oh, well, um, no, I don't work. You know, um, my folks got money. Or you may look over here and say, oh, I'm a stay-at-home single mother, but um, I get my money from, you know what I'm saying, child support. I mean, it may be different things like that that may turn another person on. And they be like, oh, okay, well, yeah, I'd rather talk to you. I don't want to talk to the one that has the different titles. But see, the thing about it is, like, if, even if I just give you that one title, you may not think that I'm enough, you know, for you. you looking at this person right here being the Instagram model. You'd rather talk to her, but then rather not talk to me. But by the time we get through the party over with, I made myself around the room. And I may have shared one or two other things with somebody else that I can actually trust and have a conversation with because they were into the same thing that I was into. And by the time you get through asking, you know, A, B, C, D, E, F, and G, what did I say? And you see that it's more to me than just what I told you. Now all of a sudden you're, you're intrigued. Or then again, like I said, you may not be intrigued. You may be intimidated. My thing is your title shouldn't have anything to do with the reason why you feel that you want to be with a person and you want to talk, talk to a person because like I said this person cannot have a job this person can have a job this person can have more than one job you know so what's supposed to draw you and not draw you into wanting to really talk to that person or you want to have a relationship with that person or you really want to be with that person because I mean if you're looking at the fact of a title is supposed to be able to draw you to really want to have a relationship with this person or that's supposed to make you you know want this person then I'm sorry baby you did wrong because like I said, I mean, so many things can happen. You, you look at the people that have grown up in the projects that are millionaires, multi-millionaires now. And they didn't have no title. A lot of them dropped out of high school. But you look at the fact that, oh, okay, well, no, I didn't go to college. But, oh, oh okay, oh, yeah, hey, how you doing? Now, so you want to talk to somebody else because I said something that you didn't want to hear. But which is fine, though. You know, because I have um, subjects like that that's on this channel, you know, talking about, you know, would you date a person that's, you know, A, B, C, D, E, O, G. You know, just look at the um, the different videos on the channel, you know, uh, like, share, subscribe, and so you can um, be able to have access to the rest of the videos. But, you know, my thing is, I'm, I'm saying, you know, like, just working these upscale parties like this right here, I, I pretty much only give one title. Because, like I said, me trying to explain myself, I don't. But if I'm talking to another person and they say, hey, yeah, you know, I'm into, um, you know, investments. Or I'm into, you know, I'm, I'm a, a banker, I'm a broker. Or, you know, at these parties and when they say, oh, yeah, you know, uh, I own my own company. Or I'm an insurance person and blah, blah, blah. You know, I'm able to relate to over half of them because you know either I, I may not be doing it but I have had experience in you know doing that or whatever and that may be one of the things that spark up the conversation but um yes that has really happened to me where I have you know been to a few upscale parties and just because I told you I was a cosmetologist like I said you felt that I wasn't good enough but by the time you heard about what I do you know with the other jobs and stuff like that you go oh okay well yeah you know she's smart or you know she got a head on her shoulders or she should be able to help me in my business and this is and that so you still looking at uh, you're looking at bronze but then you're looking at brains and you're trying to have both and it don't work like that you know yes you have to choose but don't let that title be what you know intrigues you to want to choose you get what I'm saying so um, like I said for all those that 
that know me and for the ones that don't know me and they really want to know my title like i said i'm not gonna explain everything that i do but i can't tell you what the name of the title is now my thing is um like i said when it comes to um hobbies um like if you look at some of the other videos you know a lot of people know that i love to read i really do uh i've been like that ever since i was like three years old and you couldn't keep a book out of my hand i, I just love to read um i love nature i love to enjoy nature i love to go on walks i mean it's just something about the trees and the air and watching the animals i love that i have an animal channel as well so it's just something about you know just looking at animals and just watching animals that i just really really enjoy um i used to sing in which i sound a little horrible now but i used to sing i'm trying to get back on track with the singing you know now but um i used to sing all the time i did but like i said i, I stopped doing it for a while but now i just not started back you know trying to you know get that part back together um i love to write i love to cook cooking oh yes oh my gosh i love cooking recipes new recipes I, I mean i love to see people eat you know i love to see the look on your face when i cook something and it was wonderful you know that just it just gives me like a whoo i guess you could say i'm having a cookasm <laughs> a cooking orgasm you know what i'm saying but <laughs> but I, I like movies i like to watch movies i like to you know go to the movies uh whenever i can uh of course i like to go bowling i like to play pool and i like to stand up in the pool now <laughs> um everybody know i can't swim mm -mm. and if you go to my pamphlet price channel it'll tell you the testimony about you know me you know saving my best friend um hold on one second guys 